Hey everyone, so I just wanted to record a very quick video to walk you through the build uh, and setup of the C++ miner on your system, especially if you want to leverage GPU, but it also works very well uh, multi-threading on, on CPU. Uh, so kel-miner repo on my GitHub. Let's just uh, copy the URL and clone it. Uh, Right, so uh, it's a C++ program, so you will need Make and GCC compiler uh, to, to compile it and to build it. Uh, if you have never done so, uh, I think the easiest is to use a build essential uh, package. So build essential, like this, and uh, that should install all the tools that you need. Uh, you can compile it on Linux, on macOS, on Windows also it should work. The, the make file is compatible with these systems. Uh, but if you have any issue, uh, you can also uh, ask me in the uh, Stellar Global uh, Kale uh, channel. I'm very happy to, to help there. So once you've done that, you can just uh, um, oh, cd uh, kale-miner first, cd and then make. So um, by default, it builds the CPU version. And if you want to build for uh, your GPU, then you will have to do like make uh, and pass uh, this flag. There's two frameworks supported. There's CUDA and OpenCL. I will just show you very quickly uh, from the readme. So uh, you will also need uh, yeah, to install the, the SDK for, for the framework that you use. If you have an NVIDIA, I recommend that you use CUDA. The performance is much higher than uh, with OpenCL. But otherwise, for any other uh, GPU, uh, you can use OpenCL as well. We also support that. Um, so after that, uh, yeah, you can just quickly uh, see if it's properly installed. So you should uh, be able to run the command. Uh, there's also an example command that's provided right there in the, uh, where is it, uh, here, in the readme file. And if you run, it should uh, output this as well. So that will tell you that the program is properly uh, compiled and installed uh, on your system. So from there, uh, all you need to do now is to uh, run the, the the farm through this uh, Node.js app, which is in the Homestead Homestead fol folder. So um, I think the best is to start with code. So I can show you there. Um, so you go here in the Homestead folder. And there's a config.json, uh, which is the the default config that that the, the program is going to use. I'm going to go through the settings quickly. Uh, so the miner, if you run CPU, probably don't need to change anything. Maybe adjust the max thread based on the, your, the, the cores that you have available on your CPU. Uh, if you run on Windows, you might want to add uh, .exe at the end as well. Um, and the difficulty on CPU, you probably leave it as well. If you run on GPU, then turn uh, GPU this flag to true. The max thread represents the number of threads per block. So I would say maybe start at 768 and then if it doesn't work, if it fails, uh, 512 uh, up down to 128 for example you can you can try like that trial and error um, you should be able to do this and same increase the batch size based on uh, the performance of your GPU uh, basically a uh, higher batch size uh, avoids the overhead of uh, restarting the minor program uh, all the time and the device also if you have several GPUs you can use a different uh, index uh, for uh, for the device there um, then another important setting here is the uh, token for launch tube. Um, so if you specify a valid token here, it's going to use launch tube uh, credits instead of uh, depleting your uh, your Excel balance on uh, on your miner. So uh, yeah, specify your uh, token here, and then uh, you can also specify a list of farmers here instead of just one. So the uh, Homestead Node.js app will manage all the, the farmers to plant, uh, to work, and to harvest as well uh, on uh, every block. Uh, so important settings here is the mean work time. Uh, so the protocol, the, the, the Kale protocol, rewards more Kale if you w the longer you wait between the plant and, um, and, and the work. So what happens here is that you can specify the number of seconds, minimum seconds, that you want to wait. So for example, if you say uh, 240, it's going to wait four minutes before it submits uh, your, uh, your work after planting. 
but know that the more you wait and the more risk you take because if you can't submit your work in time then you lose your the stake and that's uh, the other important setting here is the stake so you start usually at zero since you don't have kale on your account uh, but when you start having kale you can increase this number since troops so for example if you uh, that would represent one full kill, right? Uh, another important file uh, that uh, you can use also in order to manage these settings dynamically is the strategy.js. And I will just show you quickly from the readme file. So here uh, we've got um, some sample code. I'm going to explain it to you. Just run it through uh, this just copy it here so basically you can uh, with the strategy JS you can um, adjust this setting as uh, run times so for example the stake the amount of kill that you want to, to stake in uh, uh, during the plant uh, invocation or the difficulty as well and the minimum work time as well can be provided at runtime to your farmers so uh, here uh, for example this code this example code loads the account for the farmer determines the amount of kale based on uh, the current available balance up to uh, i think it's 10 percent here and uh, to a maximum of 10 kale but you can change that to to adjust uh, in order to uh, to increase your your rewards uh, you can also adjust the difficulty the same way and uh, the mean work time also here it returns three minutes 180 seconds but uh, you could make it dynamic as well um, based on the amount of time, for example, available uh, on that specific block. Uh, and I think uh, that's it. Uh, is there anything? Ah, yes, the roots. Um, so if you have, for example, missed a block for harvesting or for some, for example, there was some failure, you can also use this endpoint. So harvest, for example, can specify the block, the address, and it's going to harvest uh, a specific block, uh, which the program doesn't, the, the program by default only harvest the last block. But let's say, for example, uh, you have missed one, uh, then you could do so manually using this endpoint, uh, exposed also through the Node.js app. You can also plant and work as well. Uh, and there's another endpoint here, which is the shader. So um, I am going to integrate this uh, shader. I'm just going to show you quickly. Uh, it's a web GPU compute shader. I'm going to integrate it to uh, the web miner. Uh, by Tyler and also to this uh, to this miner as well so um, it will run directly uh, in the browser right so I think I went through all the important points uh, if you have any issue setting up your miner uh, you can join us here I'm gonna put the link on the screen uh, Stellar Global Kale channel and I'll be happy to help you there uh, in the meantime happy farming